Franklin Delano Roosevelt interned 120,000 Japanese Americans. Was he evil? I, you know, uh, uh, I think you have to examine your own orthodoxy before, you know, you can feel comfortable. But let's really try and fight on the most precise and proportional terms we can. Okay. If possible. And on waterboarding, yeah. Bush in his book says... Is that what's next? He didn't, <laughs> he didn't just say... Is that what happens that. now? Oh, my yeah. God, what happens to me now? He didn't just say... He says yeah. in his book, he He's didn't just say, it. yes, waterboard him. He, he said, in, his, in his writing of his... Damn right, Damn right, waterboard the guy. I know. I don't... I don't... Um, I mean, it's hard for me to believe uh, that he did that. He says that's what he did. But what yeah, that means is that the people who are arguing that waterboarding slash torture is a bad thing lost the argument and it's now a political asset to brag about having waterboarded. I kind of think they were always like that. I never got the sense that there was a, a sense of shame. I always thought there was a sense of legal maneuvering. Yeah. I never thought they felt like they were covering it up because they thought it was a bad idea or it would paint them as evil. They just didn't want to get nailed for it. I, I, I think that was it or they wanted to figure out a way to do it. Now, this comes to the next part though. What is their intention? Is his intention truly to save American lives? Does that justify everything? Well, maybe it doesn't. Where do you draw the line then? Why don't they just waterboard everybody? A lot of people get shot in gang violence in the city. Why not waterboard gang members? You know, then you get into all these other arguments, but if the place that you start from is he's an evil man who did that to lie to us so that he could take gratuitous pleasure, in his own uh, masculinity, like, or whatever it is, like, that, that does... No, but that's, I mean, nobody's, right. I'm not saying that, nobody's right. saying that. Right, and that was, but that's an example of, of, again, pushing it too far, but people, that's what people do. They take things and they go into the next realm. But I don't, I just don't think that, that I don't think do that I here. do that. I mean, I can't speak for everybody here, but I don't think that, and I am definitely part of the conflictinator. I'm definitely part of this whole machine, that's prime right. time and the whole bit. Right. But I don't, right. I don't, I think that the criticism of George Bush on waterboarding is a precise criticism. I don't think it's this guy is an evil monster. I think it is that was wrong for the country and he shouldn't be defending it. Yeah, I and, don't get the sense yeah. that that's, I don't get the sense that the argument is as passive as that, but okay, that's a fair point. Yeah. I, I think that it's somewhere in between. I think that the argument generally has not been, this is wrong for the country and it has overstepped a certain line in the thing. I think it was a little, a little more... Uh, well, it's impassioned, emo. certainly. I mean, mm, this yeah. is wrong for the country. I'm happy to scream it if that makes it, if that makes I, it less I, of a strong I, I would case. suggest that it wasn't necessarily just this is wrong for the country, but that you're a bad man. I don't think that... I don't... I, th I, think, that you are, I think that you are glassing over the, the gray areas in a way that isn't fair. Maybe. That could very well be, he says. Or, <laughs> yeah, there's more. Stay with us. More of my interview with John Stewart ahead.